again YouTube so this is a, a small update to my collection I say small it's four pieces that I've added to it uh, along with a few of the bits that I've that I've tweaked and sort of finished off um, this being my space commando now I've finished off all the bits that I had to do the scrolls are finished uh, the magazines done now swords there and finished yeah, really happy with him. I've sold a couple pre-order now, privately. Uh, a friend of mine stuck him on eBay as well for me, uh, along with a couple other pieces that I have. Um, hopefully the people that have purchased these, when I've built them, because they ought to pre-order, will uh, stick a little review up as well somewhere. But that's him done now. Really happy with the way he's turned out. And, um, you know, in amongst the others, yeah, he's, he looks the part. Okay. Uh, the next one I got through was the 3 0 uh, Leonardo. Do like the figure. I got him quite cheap, actually, which was a, which was a bargain. I got him uh, around. Uh, just over 200 euros, I think. So, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, quite happy with the figure. The foot's a little loose on this one. When I got it out of the box, the, the handle came straight off the samurai sword. I had to sort of glue that back on. The foot's just, it's on, it's, it's there. Uh, I had to get a base for him, really. Uh, they do get knocked these displays from time to time, which is... Uh, this is madness, but I do have a young daughter that's running around and as I said in the other videos, this isn't my my regular setup, everything's just sort of crammed in here. When I do get the setup complete, I'll do a final sort of video with everything set up and the lighting and everything in there and displayed as they should be. But for now, I'm just, as I say, I'm just sort of running through them. Is uh, another one off my list. Uh, what else have we been doing? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <sighs> Bit of a repose on the Hitman. Uh, the next, the, the next custom that I finished was my one six Scarface. The custom, custom case, custom Coke that I made myself. Uh, the head's modified. I think it's a head play head. I think they come with the with the neck attached, and then that would have obviously left the the joint at his neck, where you see the chain. I've got another chain coming because I know he has two, so he's not quite finished yet. Um, so yeah, I modified the head. Got some sunglasses which I had to modify also, so they fit his head because the hair's really wide and no sunglasses will, will fit, no regular sunglasses anyway. Um, so they sort of done like the the battle damage terminator's done, which it's cut off. So that's him, it looks pretty cool. I've ordered the chair for him, it's not the Enter Bay uh, Tony Montana chair, it is just a, a, a black chair, a PVC chair. I will keep on the lookout for a Enterbay chair and I probably will get it at some point. Um, and then I may use the, the, the other chair for a, a bit of a Hitman diorama. I may stick a table, so he's got the table and chair in there. I'll take the uh, sniper rifle to pieces, stick it on the chair. And I'll make him like he's getting ready for work. But anyway, that's, that's for some time in the future. So that's that one. Um, what else did I do? I got the gloves through for the Indiana Jones, the DX5 gloves. Got the other gloves there and the hands. Got the gun now and the, the diary and stuff. So he's pretty much finished. I still haven't done the shirt yet. I'm still toying with the idea to do this one or to just order the DX5 one. I don't know, by the time I've friggin' finished I may as well just bought the DX version to be fair. But again, as I said, it's a bit more love attached because I've built it myself. Even though most of it is just a kit bash, you know, you still 
it's still rewarding to to knock up a piece and it to look cool which is sort of what I did with the next custom that I've finally finished which is my Punisher can't remember what the head's called now it looks yeah it looks quite a bit like the Frank Castle from the first movie which is sort of where I'm going with with this Punisher uh, yeah good quality boots I probably will do a, a, a shorter video just of him actually um, just to show what I, what I did the head sculpt is amazing the paint work is really really good it's a really good head sculpt the shirt I got was a custom shirt the, the major customization I've done on this is the holster it's a twin holster uh, that I've modified so it can uh, it can house the the MP5s at the bottom. So he's got dual dual Desert Eagles, dual MP5s. He has a modified machine gun at the side. I don't know exactly what that is. He's also got a, a belt on around one side. He's got a Colt, and the other side on the thigh he's got a like a knuckle duster knife, combat knife. On the back he's got a couple of pouches. I may order a couple of more pouches for him. I know you know some of the, the Punisher versions he does have quite a lot of pouches attached to the belt. But I don't know, I like him like this, he's kinda of sleek. He looks like, you know, he's ready for ready for some urban warfare. So that's the that's my Punisher finish now. I have adapted the blade also. I have noticed, I, I'm not 100%, I need to do the research actually whether the Hot Toys version has the holsters for his twin guns. Uh, I, I think it has. I know in the movie it certainly does have holsters to house them. Um, so I've handmade two holsters basically. Um, and these now these now hold his guns and that goes up attaches to the the belt at the bottom goes up over his shoulder and there's a holster there for both his guns to go into i've ordered another piece for this uh to finish off a bit of a diorama that i want to do with him as i said it didn't cost that much to build him so i figure you know what why not i'll just go all out spend a bit of extra money and create something that looks expensive you know, that'll, that'll, that'll look good against the, even the hot toy version of him. And I think adding the, the, the holsters and the other bits that I've got intended for him will, will push him up there a little bit. Even though the quality is only 90%, you know, the, the other bits hopefully will, will finish him off. Um, yeah. Ash is finished now. I did a shorter version of him, so you can check that out. Really, really cool. I have ordered the, the the wooden screen. I've ordered that now. That's going to be coming soon for the Bruce Lee. Again, it's not an expensive piece. Uh, just buying a few more bits for him, I think, and just making a bit more of a diorama will just will just boost the figure's uh, you know, quality, I think. So I got that for him anyway. And uh, again, I'll update when I've, I've sort of finished all these pieces completely um, I would like to make an update when everything's done oh yeah I did uh, I did decide to take a step up in the scale and I went for uh, uh, my legendary predator bust and that came last week really really happy it's an amazing sculpt really good and I'm sorry, you know, people say it all the time, and some people hate it, but and it is a cliche. It looks better in hand. The photos or the pictures don't do it justice. You know what? This doesn't. I saw the reviews myself. I've seen the photographs and stuff, and yeah, yeah, I wasn't, you know, I was looking forward to it. But when it came, wow. Yeah, it blew me away. So, really cool.
Um, okay, so the other pieces I've got, I have after watching a, a, a review on YouTube, Clipper King, I think. It was um, a Titanfall Atlas. I've now ordered one, so I've got that coming. I've got the Asmus Toys, uh, Nazgul and Steed. That's been stocked at Customs for some reason, so I'm trying to get that out now. <laughs> so hopefully I'll have that in the next week or so. Uh, I've still got the T800 battle, uh, the T800 uh, full scale head on its way, and I've also got another few customs that I'm going to be building. Um, I've got Jim Malone from Untouchables that I'm doing. Uh, I have Dexter Morgan. I'm going to be doing one of Dexter, um, and I'm, I'm getting I'm getting quite close now to finishing my Mad Max figure as well. Um, what else have we got? Oh, I've also got Constantine coming. That's the black box toys, I think. I'm going to check him out. Hopefully, I can use it straight out of the box. I don't want to replace the head, but it looks like that it doesn't it doesn't look the best head likeness wise so I may have to do that um, oh, and I've also got the the Satan from Constantine as well I've got his head I've got the suit on the way body's coming it's pretty much all I need um, so he's gonna be finished as well um, any others I think that's about it I've got another couple of full build custom pieces that I'm working on as well uh, so yeah as soon as I've finished everything or as soon as I've got a you know a decent enough update to show you, uh, maybe when I get the Nazgul, uh, the Titanfall, um, and the next two Kitbash customs that I've done, as soon as they're finished, then I'll uh, I'll do another update. Okay, so uh, I've got uh, there are a few pieces on eBay for pre-order. The Payday Dallas is now up. <clears throat> uh, I think the Hitman. Has been put up also, and the Space Commander is up there as well. Uh, and I've also got the my custom chainsaw is going to be up there as well. Also, okay. Uh, Ink Hunter nineteen seventy nine is the is the eBay profile. The dude that's selling these, so give him a shout. And that sounds really lazy, but sometimes I can work 90 hours a week. Uh, I have a daughter as well, family, so I ain't got time for for a lot of things that I should have in my life at the moment. So anyway, I hope you've en enjoyed watching. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.